Hi folks, my name is Ron Rosenstock and um, I've been an AMPA member for many years. Uh, in fact, I'm very proud that I got the Fine Art and Nature Photography Award last year in 2021 from NAMPA. And I've been leading photo tours for Strabo uh, International for many, many years now. And uh, I wanna quickly go through some of my photographs that I've taken on these tours and give you an idea of what to expect on a Strabo photo tour. So I am going to go to screen share, phototc.com. This is uh, the website. So please check this out. And um, I work with 23 other uh, leaders that uh, you know, photographers and, and tour leaders, and we work all over the world. Um, I'm gonna show you some uh, images I've made. This is on Vinyl Haven, Maine, just to give you an idea of what to expect. You know, I teach um, about vision. I, uh, you know, I, I kind of stress attention, intention, and awareness. And awareness is really based on appreciation. And if you're really immersed in a place, you know, you just make great strides in, in your own vision and your own understanding, uh, you know, of, of photography and, and the meaning of, of sort of connecting to a place and being present to the moment. So Vinyl Haven has lots of opportunities. Ireland is sort of my home away from home. In 1994, I was uh, uh, made an honorary citizen of the town of Westport for 20 years of service to to the town of Westport, you know, bringing just hundreds and hundreds of people there. And I just know some fabulous places to photograph. So we, we you know, go there. This is an evening at uh, Ross Barna. I call it the sunset spot, one of my favorite places. You know, we, we photograph a lot of the ancient abbeys and old ruins of Ireland, you know, getting there at the right time. Um, and, uh, you know, and so you don't have to worry about, you know, where are you gonna stay? Where are you gonna eat? How are you gonna get there? And, uh, so I, uh, and I know some just fabulous places to take people, you know, to photograph. A lot of the old abbeys uh, that were sacked by Cromwell in the 1500s are, are still there and, and you just don't run into any other people while you're there. Pristine beaches and wonderful forests and, and lakes, you know, so, so the west of Ireland is amazing, as is Italy. This is early in the morning uh, of the Ponte Vecchio. And uh, you know, we uh, to avoid all the tourists, we do a lot of sunrise and sunset photographs. Uh, you know, in our on our trip to Italy, Florence, Tuscany, and Venice are my destinations there. And this is like during the day. I call it noon shadows at San Gimignano. Even during the day, I know where to take people. You know, to avoid you know the crowds and to just kind of commune with what's there, being present to the moment. The monks' robes at San Antimo. Um, on early in the morning in Venice, the Maria della Salute Dome, and then uh, Greenland, another very exciting location. Here's one of my group members photographing a, a grounded iceberg. And this is the image I made. Now, Minor White has had photographed what else is there. You know, the, the more present to the moment that you are, the more you see things, you know, like you, you really, um, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Here's a man you know, uh, from the group photographing one of the icebergs off uh, the west coast of Greenland. This is an image I made the, right into the sun of an iceberg. And we get wonderful uh, aurora borealis. This is like 10 o'clock at night taken from Nuuk. That's the, uh, the, the, the big uh, city in Westport, um, in Westport, <laughs> in, the, in, the, in Greenland. And um, so here we are, the west uh, of, uh, of Greenland, um, and, uh, you know, with the city lights and all that, you still can see, you know, wonderful auroras. And in green, and in Iceland, this is on the black beach, again, without the tourists, and just, um, you know, kind of feeling what's there. You know, we work with all kinds of atmosphere. It doesn't have to be sunny all the time. Here are the eastern fjords of, of Iceland, you know, just working with the highlights and the shadows. You know, I'm sort of a light chaser. I, I just love the light. This is a stone called Huitzakur. It's like a, a sculpture. And um, it's just sort of a lava formation, you know, out, out in the bay in the northwest corner of Iceland. And uh, we're saying goodbye to, to Iceland here with, uh, looks like uh, three sisters on one horse uh, who are having a great time. Okay, this is another uh, of my favorite destinations. Of course, they're all my favorite destinations. I love them all. This is in Santorini, Greece which is just wonderful for doing kind of, um, you know, kind of, uh, kind of these high key images. 
you know, where you get bare, barely, uh, you know, uh, detail in the high values as Ansel Adams referred to as like zone seven and eight. And, um, you know, just with the, the black fence here to kind of against this wonderful texture, which is this wonderful architecture that you find, you know, and when the sun is out, people put out these awnings and they're just great for, you know, creating, you know, a balance between light and, and dark. And um, just like yin yang kind of uh, image here. Um, I know many uh, small churches along the Aegean that we stopped to photograph. This is a castle now. Um, this is Eileen Doonan Castle, uh, right uh, just off uh, the Isle of Skye in Scotland. And, and Scotland's another one of fabulous locations for photographers. And regardless of the lighting conditions, this castle is just a very exciting place to photograph. And here on a, on a, a sort of a drizzly cool evening, and um, it almost looks like a pencil and ink drawing of, uh, of Eileen Doonan Castle. Just love that place. And the Quarang, a very wild, uh, desolate place in, uh, on the Isle of Skye. I love photographing there. The Butt of Lewis. You know, there's just great seascapes all over the uh, Outer Hebrides. And this is the highlight of the trip for me. It's the, uh, you know, the Stones of Callanish on the Isle of Lewis. And we get there for sunrises and sunsets, at least two sunrises and two sunsets. You know, during the day we'll be touring and going to the different beaches, but we're always here, you know, in the evening and the, and the mornings. And here, um, going to Morocco, another one of my favorite destinations. This is um, the Hassan II Mosque. We always start our tours at the mosque. And um, I know the woman who leads the tours and she kind of lets us sort of separate from the group. Uh, it's always with a group there to tour the mosque, but um, she's very kind to us because she knows we're photographers. So we get to, to make a lot of images that, that you wouldn't get any other way. Um, and the uh, Fez pottery works, uh, just wonderful little nooks and crannies that you can photograph the light. Uh, these are these huge pots sort of drying, their, their whole drying racks are just lovely. For me, the highlight though really is photographing the dunes in the Sahara. Never get tired of photographing the dunes. And lots of old ruins. Uh, I, uh, many years ago, uh, we discovered this ancient city. It's not touristy at all. No one ever goes there. And it's just all in ruins. Um, I, I call this photograph uh, Homage to the Alchemist. If you've ever read a, the book, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, you understand why I call it that. Okay, another quick journey now to New Zealand. And uh, this is uh, Lion Mountain down in Milford Sound. Uh, just beautiful landscapes and seascapes. This is a hike we take out to the Hooker Valley and the moraine of the glacier. And uh, I just love that place. Milford Sound, very, very exciting. Our whole trip uh, next year is all gonna be on South Island. Great place to shoot. Here we are at the Meraki boulders down in Dunedin. You know, and from there we fly, fly back to uh, Auckland and home. So uh, that was uh, around the world in like uh, uh, <laughs> three minutes. I'm gonna stop sharing and uh, go back. And uh, so phototc.com, um, you know, an experience of a lifetime, really. You, you, you'd love it. And uh, there are many NAMPA members who have traveled with me and uh, I look forward to seeing you at our next live NAMPA summit. Thank you, bye-bye.